Welcome to Superb Story, a uh, time where we become thought leaders. We learn from wonderful, beautiful stories, stories which makes us think on life skills, life values, and makes us thought leader. Yes, Siddhidhiya, what were you saying? You're saying something? Quickly, please. Yes, coach. Uh, I had a cough and cold, coach. Welcome. Now. Yeah. Okay. Now. But you can have cough and cold, but you can still say, if I can't, then I must. You can come. Still in the morning ritual. You'll become a leader. Isn't it? If I can't, then I must. Correct. You should use that success principle. Isn't it? Yeah. Cough and cold will learn that, no, 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 I should not go to Siddhi. Siddhi doesn't care about me at all. Isn't it? Yeah. Then it stop coming to you. Otherwise, we'll keep coming back again and again. Okay, let's get back to a story session, superb story session. Time become thought leader. The beautiful story. Pay attention to every single word, and uh, then you'll be able to understand it at a deeper level. This is a story of a salt doll. Doll, a doll made out of salt. Salt doll. So this salt doll travels all over, all over the lands, plateaus, does full adventure, goes to different, different places. And finally, one day the salt doll reaches the ocean, the sea. Stunned seeing the sea, she, she is very curious. What is this? And for the first time seeing such a vast piece of land, which is moving. It's just shining. It's got so much movement. It's scary also, but it is very inviting also. It's so noisy. It looks very insecure. And the salt doll is very, very curious and asks the sea, who are you? The salt doll will ask the ocean, the sea, who are you? The answer from the ocean will come, I am the sea. Sea what is it? So the salt doll will ask, see, see, what is it? The ocean replies, see, yeah, that is it. I am the sea. The salt doll thinks for a little while. Says, I don't understand you. I still don't understand you. I do not know what are you, who are you. You're very different than wherever I've been. Now, uh, how how do I know what you are? The ocean replies. The sea replies, touch me. Touch me. Uh, so, yes, the salt doll wants to know what ocean is, what's a sea. So now, it touches. Touches with his feet. It touches with the feet. And suddenly, it feels something very different happening. A very different experience. And when the wave goes back, the doll realizes the toes are missing. The toes are missing. He'll ask. He'll ask the ocean. Well, she's a little scared also. She's a little scared. Oh my God, what's happened? Looks at the toes and sees the toes are missing. Ask the ocean, where is my toes? I can't see. The ocean, the sea replies. Yes. To understand me, or to understand something on a deeper level, you have to give something, isn't it? You have to give something. Did you learn something about me? The doll said, yeah. Did you like it? I liked it, but also I'm a little scared. I'm, I'm not very sure. I liked it or not, but it was an experience. Yes. So to know something, you have to give something. Isn't it? To know something, to understand something, you have to give something. So the doll was even more curious. I want to know you more. You have to give more. So the salt doll started taking steps. Preeti, camera on, please. The salt doll started giving more. Started going more. Slowly, steadily started losing a bits and pieces and slowly, slowly. And very soon the salt doll was where? Inside the ocean. Completely. 
it was experiencing the ocean more much more and more more and more and dissolving slowly slowly and there was nothing left nothing left and found out what is ocean it became a part of the ocean it's a very deep spiritual but nice beautiful story so what did we learn from it coach yeah coach for gaining something we should uh, sacrifice something that is precious to us true yeah to gain something big in life sacrifice is must correct siddhi for discipline you need to sacrifice sacrifice the comfort cough is there cold is there i have to be more disciplined you have to come for morning it was there to yeah. gain something you have to give something yeah very nice whatever we yeah be obsessed hmm? i love that answer successful people are obsessed about what they want they they go so deep into it if you take a look at it in terms of i gave you i we told a story about uh, this guy right uh, the chennai player bismillah khan isn't it he was obsessed he was obsessed about uh, uh becoming the best and then god appeared to him isn't it that's what he said lord krishna appeared to me i was he was obsessed very nice you want to become an iatn you have to get obsessed you so you want to become a space researcher an astronaut you have to be obsessed you should let go of any other things and only focus on that if you want to become the best interior designer you have to get obsessed yeah what is what is this we learn two things coach if you want to uh, learn or experience something you need to surrender yourself to the gurus yeah very nice thank you so much siddhi so siddhi champion surrender the surrender to discipline so surrender yourself come to morning ritual even if you are not well there are people who are, who are not well who are this thing that's the reason why Siddhi, many people ask us, Coach, why don't you do morning ritual just six days? Everybody takes leave one day, so it happens, it happens, and all the other things. I tell, no, one day, six days, you are a champion. One day, you want to be what? A loser? Siddhi, does anybody one day want to be a loser? No, right? No, it's Siddhi. Being, it's being on top on a daily basis. Every day, be the best. Every day, be powerful. is it correct rithu every day yeah please coach, he, yeah coach if you read something you want to do deep learning coach come again not, if you read something you want to deep learn that to improve our knowledge to go deep into it yeah the, the, i'm looking for one i'm looking for one word It starts the word I. Enjoy the process. Wonderful. Coach, coach, you have to immerse in whatever you do. Yeah, the word is immersion. Yeah. Immersion is the key for being reaching to the top of being legend. Legends are immersed into it. Bruce Lee immersed into it. Jackie Chan immersed into it. Amitabh Bachchan is at least eighty one, and still he is hosting. कौन बनेगा करोड़पति इज एन इट करेक्ट सो दीज पीपल हैव गॉट इमर्ज्ड इनटू दे डोंट डू नॉट डू एनीथिंग एल्स दे ओनली डू दैट दे आर जस्ट फोकस्ड इनटू दैट आई गिव यू गाइस अ स्टोरी ऑफ अमिताभ बच्चन राइट ही स्टार्ट्स इज शूटिंग एट 11:00 बट ही इज ऑन द सेट एट व्हाट टाइम अमिताभ बच्चन इज देयर एट 7:00 इन द मॉर्निंग 7:00 ही इज लीविंग होम और ही इज टीचिंग देयर and he practices his son was asking there was an interview at spoke about correct his son asked him dad you have been doing corn kare ka banega karodpati for 20 plus years but still still you go and practice why is it if i forget my lines 
immersion. Every single day, get immersed into it. Which is rare. Sometimes, what is what? Sometimes it's better to remain in silence than getting into trouble. Sorry? Sometimes it's better to remain silent than getting into trouble. Very nice. Thank you so much, Ashikara Ji. Coach? Yeah. Yes? Coach, knowledge and experience is the next step in our life to reach to success. Wonderful. Experience and knowledge. So nice. Coach? Uh, I think one second, Siddhi. If you remember, sometime back I told you the story of Marie Curie, correct? Marie Curie came from a country where girls were not allowed to study. Women are not allowed to study. Female folks are not allowed to study. Her father made them escape and she used to sit and learn for 20 plus hours in a day. She fainted, she fainted on many occasions just because of lack of food. And she got obsessed in inventing radium. The radium itself killed her. She used to carry radium in her pocket, a radioactive material. Can you believe that she used to carry radium? Radium used to be, used to be there on her fingers everywhere. It's a radioactive material. Radium was the reason that she got the Nobel Peace Prize. Sorry, no, not Peace Prize. Nobel Prize in Physics, Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Uh, I'm not sure what. Nobel Prize in Chemistry or Physics. She got Nobel Prize. And then, that was also the reason that killed her. Very strange. Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King. These people are immersed. They're immersed in what they're doing. Yes, Siddhi. Yeah, coach. So the more you experience, the more you will get to know about the inner world. True. Riti, your answer. Not heard from you. Raghavan, sir, your inputs definitely are most appreciated. Go back to place where you came from. Go back to place from where you came from. Wonderful. Yeah, the salt. You are, you are a salt doll. The ocean is all salt. So you came, you go, you went back to the ocean. Very nice. Wonderful. A completely different view. Thank you so much. Once again, very glad to have you. Yes. The spiritual view of this story is that yes, we are from the bigger soul and one or the other day we will be not. We are always a part of that uh, soul, the mighty soul, the supreme soul, the supreme intelligence. We are just a tiny part of it. Yes. Our objective is to immerse into our spiritual soul. Yes. Didi, what did you learn here? Coach, sacrifices are needed. Riti, the Marasas and the Sadhvis, what do they do? They sacrifice the normal life, correct? They sacrifice the normal, they sacrifice the relationship, they sacrifice everything. And they become for what? Go for moksha. Why do they do that? They give up every luxury in their life, they give all the attachments in their life to, for what? Moksha, Diksha. Diksha kise lete hai? So, you have to give. That's the reason why, that's the process. You have to let go of many, many things. As Raghavan sir, sir said, you, have, you will join wherever you come. But you have to let go. Yes. So this is a very spiritual story. Different views, many, many views it has. If you have to achieve something very big in your life, immersion is the key. Touch and go, touch and go will not work. Yeah. Yukta, over to you. You want to take up? Yeah.
Sereneji from now, camera is on. Sereneji, when you turn on the camera, yes, everybody. Yukta, we can't. Can you go? Can you push the laptop a little away or you go behind? Yeah. Everybody, please, in Vajrasana, please. Titi can't see seeing the. So this both Yukta and me, we both will do together. Yukta, you'll be leading. I'm keeping my mic on. Okay. Yeah. Preeti sitting straight is the key. You must see yes. Riti can do anything. Riti can do anything, but you can do it with immersion, with obsession. You will get the maximum value out of it. Yeah, begin. Yan Mudra. Let's sit in Majrasana. Let's sit in Yan Mudra. Let's start with our short meditation. Eyes closed from now. Keep your eyes closed till the very end. This will help you preserve this wonderful energy that you're creating till the very end. Focus on your breathing. One minute of silence. Let's start with alternate nasal breathing. Left hand, right out, right hand. Right in, left out, left in, right out is counted as one. So we are going to do 20 of them. Left in, right out, right in, left out is one set. 20 of them. Let's start with deep breathing. Six of them. The last one will be the most longest one. Begin. Um. 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 Um, 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 
Let's start with energizer. 20 counts. 30 counts. With the 30 counts, start with slow, take it to high speed, high energy, high intensity. Let's begin. Let's start with gratitude. Lock your arms, cutting the sit. Thank you, sir, for being such an amazing person. Always so kind, always caring, enthusiastic, always independent, always taking care of people, always, uh, always being lovable, capable, and valuable. Thank yourself for always being immersed into whatever you do. Thank yourself for always uh, learning deeper and deeper, whatever you learn, wherever you learn. Thank yourself for, for being disciplined, for being amazing. Thank you to Bliss of Support, your mom, your dad, for always being there for you. They've helped you through everything. They've given you whatever you needed, whether it's food to eat, a shelter to live in, or clothes to wear. Thank your teachers, your gurus, your coaches for, uh, for always leading in the right direction. They've taught you, they've taught you everything. They've taught you how to be immersed into whatever topic you're learning. Thank your family and your family and friends for always supporting you, for always being by your side. I thank Mother Nature for giving me resources like food, water for every day. Now, thank the God, the Almighty, for always giving you everything in abundance, whether it's uh, food, wealth, education, independence, enthusiasm, immersion, everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now imagine a bright white light coming right towards you. It enters your head, your face, your chest, your hands, arms, your hands, your fingers. From the tips, it goes on your stomach, your thighs, your knees, your calves, and your toes. Head to toe, toe to head, fully blessed with the bright white light. Now we are in the right state of mind to start our goal visualization. Visualize your goal. Visualize you're there. You're, you're with that goal. You're in that suit. You're in that uniform. Visualize that. Start Visualize your short term, today, long term, mid term, all your goals, one minute of complete silence. Visualizing your goals on a daily basis keeps you focused, keeps you immersed into whatever your purpose of life is.
Let go of your hands. Hands in your heart. Repeat after me. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. I'm disciplined. And I'm disciplined. I'm immersed whatever topic I'm I'm studying. I'm immersed in whatever topic I'm studying. I focus on my goals. I focus on my goals. I visualize my goals every day with full energy and full discipline. I visualize my goals every day with full discipline and full energy. I'm lovable. I'm, lo I'm lovable. I'm capable. I'm, I'm capable. capable. I'm valuable. I'm, I'm valuable. And I'm a superb human. I am a superb human. Rain drop claps. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. First one. Rub your palms and keep it on your eyes. It heals your eyes. Heals every part of your eyes. Last one. Slowly open your eyes and see this world in a bright place. Yes, everybody, live purposefully, live powerfully. You are indeed a superhuman. Thank you, Yukta. Can we give Yukta a big round of applause? Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Sachin, and I am a life coach. I use games, activities, and exercises to teach young champions valuable life skills and study skills, which help them become number one in studies and number one in life. Continue to watch our videos, share them, subscribe to our channel, and please do comment. It'll help us, it'll inspire us to make more good content like this. Thank you so much for watching our channel. Also, do visit our website. Thank you so much.